things and finding out what the hell is going on. This is part of his plan to eliminate all the churches, take their property away from them, and build homeless shelters there. That's what this plan is. That's what this is. He had, he was going to do universities. They can't do schools. They can't do schools that are closed. Do you, do you think if New York City allowed gun rights to some extent, this would be a thing? You may, maybe I armed think, protesters. Imagine armed protesters. This, this, is, this, is, this is what I think, okay, Luke? This is what I think. I think the fact that we really have to look, right? Bloomberg is the designer, like, with the Clinton Foundation. The Clinton Foundation worked effectively at getting cities to work collaboratively together, all right? They came up with this big world plan, and Bloomberg was at the center of this world plan, okay? If you look at Syria, you know why Syria had such trouble? They took their guns away from them, okay? Oh, yeah. In, like, 2007 or something. Mm -hmm. And the people were stupid for allowing them to do that. I mean, exactly. So all of a sudden, Plaxico Burris shoots himself in the thigh at a nightclub and gets put in jail for two years. Well, what, they, they, they really, really drove it home that we need to get guns off the streets here in New York City. And, and, and that's why... It's New York City is the ground zero for the Cuomo virus, okay? That's why they allowed it here. That's why he hasn't shut down the subway yet. That's why City Bike isn't in the Bronx yet. So the only way these guys can get around is by taking the subways that are completely infected because we don't have the weaponry to defend ourselves from the tyranny. And not only that, we have like a 40,000 police army with a, an Air Force, a Navy, they, they have, I mean, it is like literally the NYPD can beat most nations in a war. Oh, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's so, why yeah. we're so unarmed. What were the, the, the Maj people of New York City, where are these people encouraging people in New York City to get guns? How do you stop uh, the, the, the black people that I know that are friends with Maj and the Guns Lives Matter? movement move to philly <laughs> move to jersey and they all move they all jets the hell out of here they're like boom i don't know about all of them but a lot of them so those are the, those that are still there how do you do that how do you, how do you do this grassroots reminder that people just need to arm themselves so their churches aren't taken away the, how do you and, do the, and the thing is is like I, I, this this falls on me Okay, because I knew since I went to that meeting, I needed to get around to every church and make them aware of what was happening. And I just, I, there's only, you know, when, when the party you're representing is fighting you, there's only so much you can get done. Yeah. It's amazing. But you know what I learned? I tried implementing the Congress in every seat thing. The only seat we didn't get was AOC because somebody dropped the ball on that one. I don't want to tell you who. Maybe uh, Larry's number one D rider dropped the ball on that one. Good job, buddy. You could have just done it yourself, running around like a wagon. Nah, don't make fun of Larry. Then you don't even have anyone running against AOC. When I drag somebody to run against AOC, do you every day? I suppose he could have run against AOC. He could have run against AOC himself. He could have found anyone to run against AOC. Nothing. Okay. Anyway, AOC vice president. I was the one who implemented the strategy and the plan, and then I said, "Get the I'm getting the hell out of the Libertarian Party." Well, guess what? They said, ah, "We're going to outdo Chris Man at his plan," ah. and that was the only thing that got them into action enough to actually get 13 candidates up in the 14 congressional positions. I'm what if that. it works this way? What if instead of going, oh, my God, Larry, Larry, what if we see that as a void that needs to be filled by you? What if that just gives you more opportunity? Um, because Larry is all about the Libertarian Party, and I'm all about saving New York City. And, okay, but and this is bigger than some stupid LP full of corrupt bozos. Much bigger than that. This is, this is a movement, and we need to get our own media, start our own media company, start our own PACs, and, and, and never mind. I, 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 don't, I don't need the 
I'm too crazy to run for office. You understand this? I'm, I am a nut job. Everybody not, has something about them that's insane. Yeah. So I'm just in your face. I wear my heart on my sleeve. So I'm just going to save the city. I'm not going to sit here and waste my time with these libertarian rejects. I'm not going to do it anymore. I've, I've, uh, it's been too much energy in it. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get. You're not gonna become king of Iroquois through the Libertarian Party. You're gonna become king of Iroquois through just being a savage standing up for New York. I need the anarchists. I need the 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 people that it represents. So I just you know, I understand there's more to the world than the Libertarian Party. You have to reach out to the world if you're gonna make up state of state. If you're gonna stop New York City from being a tyrannical place, yes. I but listen, all, all we have to do is make sure that Larry doesn't run against Cuomo, because then Cuomo's a shoe in and it splits the Republican vote. And this is why I need to run for freaking governor as a Republican against Cuomo, because I really think I'm the only one that's gonna get up there and be like, uh, I don't think so, homeboy. If you prime, if you succeed at primering the Republicans and get on their debate stage, oh my god. I think I, I I don't I don't see what Republican can beat me in 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 in, in, in policy or anything else. Let's go back. What about to, New York City mayor race? That's what next year. Yeah, I think it's going to be Andrew Yang. The also the thing about this, the Olean mayor race and the New York City mayor race are both next year. Uh oh, uh oh. Whoa, the uh, yes. the co chairs of the National Libertarian Party are running for mayor in their respective towns. Uh oh, uh oh. Co chairs. <laughs> okay. All right. Listen. Enough of this nonsense. Let's go back to this tyrant and see what the hell he's up we to. We don't want to hear him. We want to hear our voices. Yeah, but the, the people in Let's Bitch About Cuomo don't necessarily give a How rat's ass about watching? I don't know. I don't even care. The people that, you know, they don't want to hear about the Libertarian Party. It's a, it's a waste I want to hear. I, want, I care about the Working in 44 total churches. Fuck him. Boo, uh, we are going to partner with Somos Community Care. Uh, and I want to thank them very much for stepping up. They're going to open 28. The sign language guy is such a, so, it's like, such, it's so uh, like, these, what is the word? <laughs> I mean, it's so stealthy. 44 community churches. We're also partnering with Somos to establish 28 sites at Deaf churches. people have something on their, com on their phones and computers that has like, subtitles when Cuomo talks the the sign language guy is redundant they just yelled at Cuomo they want to it's like when I was on the video with Larry Sharp all the idiots in the comment section yelling about literally nothing it, they, 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 they're I'm not, like I'm not giving that guy any more airtime that Cuomo that guy's idiot. name isn't coming out of your mouth anymore look at this 44 44 and second before that now he's talking 28 sites at churches why doesn't he just talk about 72 sites at churches why doesn't he just say that? This is where I'm telling you, this is their sophisticated way of gaslighting us. Zip codes that fit this profile. We're going to focus Spanning on public housing. From eight to 40 when public you housing. think about everything we're talking about, socially distanced, etc. That et you can't get mad about. And then think about public housing and okay. how hard public it is housing. in public housing oh. to do the things we're talking about. Oh. Uh, I worked in public housing all across this uh, country. When oh, and you, you've oh. worked in public housing all across this country, and you've done a stellar job. He was the oh. HUD secretary in his, like, 30s. Oh, what a hard life he's grown up. And he was the architect of the subprime mortgage crisis, I, so I'm his so buddies stuffed. on he Wall Street say, can make all the money I, off you know of what? it. Bill, Bill Cosby would make a better HUD secretary because Bill Cosby grew up in the projects. Andrew Cuomo grew up in what? The, the Newport neighborhood of New York City. Yeah, he grew up in Hollis. Uh, you know, he in a, he's in, in a charge mansion. of HUD. Oh, oh, I'm in charge of HUD. I know what the projects are like. No, he doesn't. He, he NYCHA is in a crisis where 80% of the projects don't have heat or hot water and or water Bill in Cosby their buildings. Bill Cosby more qualified than Cuomo. Go get Bill Cosby out of jail and we'll get Bill Cosby every day. Go zip, zop, zoopity bop, 34% of the Bronx. Uh, it, it is absolutely, it's absolutely ridiculous that no, this I'm guy so could even me. get up here and say – and say that he's been the HUD director when NYCHA has been the biggest crisis in this city. You know what they did? They, they have lead point paint in all these buildings because they built them in the 50s right after World War II. They were going to do tests, a lead paint test, and I did the math. It was like $145 million a year for four years. They did these tests, lead paint. 
and the federal government gave them the money to do the test and they never performed the test and kids continued to get lead paint poisoned as they siphoned off all the money and not one person got prosecuted for it. All they got to do is say, hey, kids, stop sucking on lead paint. But, you know, they gotta, <laughs> or they gotta, or be human so beings and strip the walls. It and and the paint and yeah. spend money on the paint tests. Yeah. Yeah. Or when somebody moves out of the apartment, this strip the walls and repaint it. would not be a problem if Bill Cosby was the HUD secretary. All right, enough of Bill Cosby. Come on, the man. The <laughs> development secretary during the Clinton administration. So during the Clinton administration, who got out in 2000, <laughs> rip-roaring and ready to go, just totally, totally primed <laughs> that subprime mortgage up. crisis. Her up. Ah. Oh, my God. Socially distance. How do you socially distance in an elevator? in a public housing complex. How do you socially distance? How do you socially distance in a subway, you creep? It's in the hallways of a public housing complex. How do you socially distance in the lobby? How do you socially distance in a, a small playground that is attached to public housing? So uh, we understand the challenge and ready responders are going to how do you so so distance? what what I'm, what I'm what I'm what I'm hearing yeah. what I'm hearing is people that live in public housing being that there's no way there's all all all, all that stop stop okay stop okay uh, heroin's a Staten Island problem more than more than it is up there okay just stop just stop making fun you you're going to get your ass kicked if you keep making fun Fuck of city people, Cuomo okay? okay yeah yeah we're going to make fun of Cuomo not the city what okay I'm doing. listen stop all right listen this is what this is telling me expanding testing to public housing he just said that it's impossible to social distance in public housing right that's basically what he said how are we going to do that so if you live in public housing, being that they can't enforce this social distancing, they're going, those are going to be the very first people that are going to get vaccinated. They have no choice. No choice. They're the ones that are getting vaccinated. You know, honestly, if they do have a choice, they could fight back, but they just are a bunch of sheep. What are we going to do to wake these people up? You can't, you know? I, I want to defend the city, but I can't argue with you there. There's so many... There's, there's so many sheep. This is what I mean about urban group think. Everyone in the city needs to start thinking like individuals. New York City could be saved. And hell, maybe New York State just be fine. Well, that's, that's the next civil war. The next civil war is, are we going to have a government that is pro-individual or pro-group? Are we going to remember the Trotsky war, the Trotsky war, Trotsky brainwashes soldiers and to the, say, you know, the, the, the result of this civil war will be dependent on whether or not people realize they can think for themselves. It's just that simple. They can operate on their own. They don't have to think what's everybody else doing. Well, let me follow them. When so, I was yeah. running for public advocate, people were like, what's the one thing that you would like to change? And I'm like, that's the way it is. There's a new – like when I lived in Colorado, like the, the, the big slogan, the thing that they would say to each other is like, oh, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. And, and in New York, if you like see something and complain about something, they go, that's the way it is. I gotta that's say, the way I, it is. Listen, I, I know I, I come across like this urban shamer. I seriously wish people in cities realized that they can operate on their own. They don't have to follow the crowd into a, a, a sardine can, okay? It's just ridiculous because the Civil War will be lost on individualism rights in cities first before it will be lost out in the woods of Olean. Okay? Well, we, we need to break that down as to why. And the reason why uh, there's so many rule followers in the city is because rule followers are overachievers. And it's – yes, the only way you're an overachiever is by following the rules. The only way you get through Harvard, break from the, the only way you on, get through see. Harvard, the only way you are able to deal okay. with writing well, some bullshit paper and citing all these goddamn things that you don't even care about that if, night if is because you're a, a rule God, follower. If you're in line in a company, then yes. Okay. They well, say, that, oh, just oh, what about corporate? I work in corporate. I got this great job in corporate. I know not to make any waves. I know not to say anything stupid. I can't put that on social media or okay. I'm going to lose my job. They're all a okay. bunch of overachievers. Overachievers hey, you're the anti -corp rule hey, you're an anti-corporation guy, which I can understand. You want people to kind of have their own way of income. 
So these people need to realize that that is possible. Whatever that corporation is offering, they could probably get a small group of people together themselves and do better than the corporation. People just don't think. They say, I got to get a job, work nine to five, benefits, have kids, retire in my 60s, die. I'm mm -hmm. not anti-corporation. What I am is I'm anti all these freaking liberals going, we need to tax the corporations so we could pay for medical care and so we could pay for affordable housing and we could pay for better transportation. Because once you have the corporations succeeding, funding these crazy programs that these leftists want, they politicians are going to set it up so nobody is going to want to do anything to rock the boat of those businesses success and it's going to be collusion and corruption and and, and it's going to it's going to be awful all over again mm -hmm. that's why i don't like corporate i don't i don't even hate corporations i just don't want to tax them what is Cuomo saying? <laughs> oh, Cuomo, he's such a freaking crazy guy. What are we going to heckle now? What are we going to do? Oh, now? God. Oh, God. Let me go back. How do I go back? You know, where did I go? Okay. It's the big green thing. Let's go. Let's go. Screen share. Let's see what this idiot's doing. Uh, increased testing in 40 public housing developments in New York City. So this is going to be preordained. What is going to happen is a consequence of our choices and a consequence of our action. It's that simple. If people are smart and if people are responsible and if the employers who are opening those businesses do it responsibly, if employees are responsible. Isn't it sad that there's like, that there actually is a significant fan of the population that requires listening to him every day? Like, like he's like giving the most basic advice. It's so freaking like easy to understand just think about the people out there that seriously have to listen to him go what do we do what do we do cuomo like, like fuck this you know dude luke i i, I am going to uh i, I i'm what i'm I, I, at seven o'clock i'm gonna facetime you and i'm gonna show you how pathetic this is these people, especially in my building, that literally I talked to one guy. He was going to the supermarket for the first time in six weeks in my building. Stayed inside the whole time. My neighbors, I saw her once through the window clapping a spoon to her pot and screaming.